How is it going, everybody? My name is DeMarco, and just... A... <laughs> what? What? I have no idea what is happening with this most recent video. It's out of control. It's absolute insanity. I am completely overwhelmed and excited and so grateful in all the best possible ways. I have never, I had a channel before this one under the same name, similar content, and I think it's been about four years I've been really making videos and I've never seen a video take off like this one. I mean, 17.7 thousand views here, 123, it's more than that I think at this point, subscribers to the channel. Is just out of control over probably 2.02 thousand subscribers on the channel and then even Twitter where I don't have the largest following comparatively speaking and I just I had to I had to I had no idea what's going on I thank you algorithm gods of YouTube I took to Twitter to voice my just complete befuddlement and even here 80 likes a bookmark two retweets it's just unheard of unheard of for my channel and I'm so grateful I wanted to start off by saying thank you to everybody that's here thank you for watching thank you for sharing in the positivity and the excitement leading up to the showcase positivity is what this channel is all about but I wanted to go over a couple other things and sort of respond to a lot of the comments in that video I was up at 5 a.m. responding to comments for about two hours and I'm trying to get to as many as I can I'm sorry I think I've done a total of like four and a half hours of just replying so if I didn't get to yours I'm super sorry but I wanted to respond to some of the things I keep seeing coming up. First and foremost, what this channel is about, I'm going to do something no YouTuber really ever... There's one. There's one YouTuber out there because there's always one. It's me. I'm that content creator. That's, that's going to say, you maybe want to unsubscribe. This channel might not be for you. And that's totally fine. I'm going to go over what this channel is about. Why did you, why you might want to join. Why you might want might not want to join. And it's completely fine either way. I'm excited to have you. And if not... No worries, but I also want to get into some of the repeating comments I see. A lot of people very trepidatious or outright zero confidence in Starfield and Bethesda for the launch of this game. Some people saying I'm just fueling hopium and copium and all that stuff that we see on the internet all the time these days. I want to respond to my personal take on Starfield as a whole and the last video really might not have given the best impressions. A lot of people talked about bugs and pre-orders as well was something I saw coming up a lot so I just wanted to address that really quickly but first what is this channel? What is it? What is it not? For starters positivity and community that's the two staples in my opinion of this channel. Uh, my values, why I'm doing this, I love the engagement, I love getting to learn about you guys and talk with you, and I've made some genuine friends from talking to them, and people have been subscribed for a long time, and that's amazing. It's what fuels me, it's why I sit hours and hours and hours at a day here editing or recording or out recording skits for reviews and doing all this stuff and trying new things. It's what inspires and motivates me and what I love about all this, and that's what I'm really here for. I'd rather have a hundred subscribers that are super active and involved and are here for what we're doing on the channel versus a thousand that don't care about 90%. That leads into the next point, which is just kind of the A, the positivity side of it. Grew up watching Jacksepticeye, who is the channel I'd always go to. His motto is always positivity breeds positivity, so bread on to me and now I'm pushing it out to you, everybody out there. That doesn't mean I don't think we can be critical of games when they come up, I just think there's a right way to do it. You can look at, for example, my Redfall coverage. I was excited leading up to the to the launch of that game. I was promoting it. And then ultimately what happened is I gave it a below average score. You can check out my review. I was honest. I was critical. I gave my thoughts. But at the end of the day, I'm going to leave it there. But I don't want to dwell on it and be that person who's making videos that are, this game is terrible and this studio's on fire and here's the disaster. There's channels that are out there. You can subscribe to them if that's what your cup of tea. That's perfectly fine. You're not going to get that here. I'll always try to take the more logical and the more positive approach to it as a result. The other thing is I'm not just a Starfield or a Bethesda YouTuber. If you're here for just that, you'll be disappointed. I like talking about other games. You can see on the channel there's The Witcher 4. I'm going to be talking about Dragon Age, Avowed. I'll be discussing games like Immortals of Avium, Wolfenstein, Spider-Man 2. So do yourself a favor, take a look back at some of the last content that I've made. If you like it and you're on board and you're here for what we're doing, great! I can't wait to get to learn about you, to get to see more comments from you, to get to engage with you on the channel. If not, perfectly fine. Thanks for stopping by. 
happy to have you here and maybe in the future you'll come we'll we'll see each other again we'll meet up again that's that'd be awesome there were a couple comments that i wanted to get into next first and foremost we could kind of lump these two in a conversation together just to speed things along people who have zero faith in bethesda and then a lot of people talking about the buggy release of bethesda games and i think a lot of folks are irritated by kind of the state of game launches in general reasonably so so i wanted to give my overall thoughts on starfield dissociated from that last video which might have given a different impression and that is a cautious optimism is amazing keep that hold on to that i agree and support and think that is the healthiest mentality that you can have going into this starfield showcase a hundred percent but there's a difference between cautious optimism and trepidation towards a game release versus voracious and all-consuming cynicism that dominates your mindset and the latter is completely toxic and i don't agree with that at all a lot of folks have felt burned by games in the past i'm also in agreement a lot of people saying we need to see show not tell because todd howard has been hyping up a lot of these games the developers have been hyping up a lot about starfield and it's time for them to showcase the game we've heard about the improved npcs and the interactivity with the world the improved quests and dialogue and all these systems show us that's what the starfield conference direct is supposed to hopefully do that's what i'm rooting for and that's what ultimately i want to see in the final product as far as bugs go i'm a hundred percent expecting a that Starfield will have its share of bugs. There's this weird gray area of what's acceptable versus what's not in gaming. There's no real definitive answer as to this amount of this type of bug is okay, but if it has this type of bug, it's all over the place. For me personally, if it breaks my experience, I can't finish the game, I'm constantly crashing, quests don't work, things aren't loading, that is unacceptable. If it breaks my gameplay experience where I cannot play the game, unacceptable, unequivocally bad. If it's something like a texture doesn't load, a sound doesn't play, some wonky physics that we see all the time with Bethesda games, that to me is passable. I'll accept that. I'm not promoting buggy game launches. I don't accept buggy game launches. And I don't want, I'm sick and tired, and I know many of you are as well based on the comments, I am so tired of seeing those apology letters that come out and say, we promise we're gonna work on the game. We're upset about the launch date of the game and we're gonna dedicate resources. I wanna skip that step. Just give me the polished game. <laughs> Reasonably speaking, it's impossible to expect a flawless game. And to add to that as a bit of an addendum, I don't think Starfield's even gonna be for everyone. I think Starfield is gonna be divisive even amongst Bethesda fans and that's completely okay. You can have your preferences of Fallout or Elder Scrolls and now Starfield. It's unfortunate because we all want to love and appreciate Bethesda games and based on what we've been told, they're returning a lot of those elements from past games into Starfield, which is why I'm really excited about it. But it might not be for everybody. It might not be for me. That's totally fine. I'm a Bethesda fan. You're almost certainly a Bethesda fan if you're watching this video. At the end of the day, we both just want a good product. And again, cautious optimism is healthy. The last thing for today is just the pre-orders. I want this is very quick, but a lot of people saying don't pre-order the game, don't pre-order the game. Just want to make it clear I was not advocating for pre-orders in my video. I just simply stated they might go live during the showcase, which is entirely a possibility. It's not out of the rule of possibility. So what I will say is I personally will not pre-order a game until like hours before it officially comes out or the day before. And by that point, reviews have already come out. We've learned about the game. We've seen what people are saying and I can make an educated decision what to do with my money. If you want to pre-order for the bonuses or the pre-download, whatever it might be, I, that's how I would personally go about it. And if you don't agree, you don't agree, that's fine. That's my mentality towards it. To sum it all up, I don't need a perfect game. I don't even need a near perfect game, almost perfect. I just need a good Bethesda game. Some of you will agree with that sentiment. Some of you will disagree. Let me know what your thoughts are on that down below. Hope this cleared some things up, but I'm really looking forward to the future of this channel and what we can do and the positivity that some of you will help me spread. And we can do this all together as a community. Really looking forward to the future of us as DeMarco Dude. We are DeMarco Dudes. So thank you all so much for watching. And as always, I hope to see you all next time. So long, everybody. I'm so excited.